I asked our community if they think that Thrawn would have made a better baddie for the sequels, even with an aged cast, and I wanted to throw my opinion out there without getting too fanfiction-y. I think that Thrawn fit really well for a villain because he wasn't Force-sensitive. We could have moved away from the Sith and Palpatine's era and focused more on a political slash ideological war between the Imperial Remnant and the New Republic. Then we could have actually seen some development for the New Republic as opposed to watching them seconds before getting heavened. The New Republic and the EU signed a treaty with the Empire that allowed them to exist in a much smaller way. Now imagine Episode 7 with Thrawn in charge of an empire, eager for their glory days. The whole generation of stormtroopers brought up on Luke and the Rebellion being the boogeyman of a bygone era. Functionally, this is what we got in the First Order, but we really got no sense of scale. They are Rogue Cell and then BAM! They run the galaxy, baby. Thrawn in the books knows he needs an answer for the Force and for Luke, and he finds that in Crazy Jedi clone Jorah Sabayoth. Since it's Star Wars and we need lightsabers clashing, Snow could be that universe's Jorah's. It would make sense for Snow to overthrow an alien and to become the supreme leader. And maybe we're gonna see that, only time will tell. 